my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have an Ohio beer. How lovely. It's from the Columbus Brewing Company. Now they're located in Columbus, Ohio, and this is a German style Pilsner. Checks in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. Now, according to the date stamp on the bottom of the can, this is 188 days old. Not to worry. A Pilsner lager style can sit around for a year and it's not going to help. It's not going to harm it. It's not going to harm it one little bit. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this slowly. Got to open these cans slowly. They're under a great deal of pressure. And let's go ahead and grab our glassware here. I decided to use this glass instead of a traditional Pilsner style because it's so much taller than this 12-ounce can. Oh, that's pouring out a super light color. Look at that. That is a super light, super clear beer. But it does have a bit of orange to it, a bit, bit of golden orange to it. Now, uh, it's got some lively carbonation in there. It's made a nice amount of foam. Let's go ahead and top it off here. Let's go ahead and get some aroma. But before we do, let's look at the lovely beer. I believe this is brewed with size hops. It's got that grassiness to it that uh, indicates size hops. Now, it did say, it did say German style Pilsner, which leads me to believe it could be brewed with size hops, Hallertau hops, a combination of both. So we're going to see. But before we drink it, we're going to thank the brewers there in Columbus, Ohio, at the Columbus Brewery for all the hard work they put in each and every day so guys like me can enjoy the beers. Cheers to them, and cheers to you at home for watching. No doubt about it. Mmm. Very clean, crisp, and refreshing. Mmm. I'm going to have to take that back, what I said about the Saz hops. Although it has the aroma... It doesn't quite have the mouthfeel, nor does it have the flavor. So I believe some, some Hallertau hops are in order here. Saz hops are unmistakable. If you drink a beer with Saz hops, you can tell straight away. Now, this is a well-crafted beer. It's leaving some lovely lacing there on the side of the glass. It's maintaining a, a quite lovely foam on here, as a matter of fact. We have some more beer in here. We can go ahead and pour it in. Quite nice indeed. Have you ever seen a beer reviewer lick the can? I'm not going to do that. Yeah, at any rate, this is quite lovely. Uh, it does have a little bit of a haze to it. It's not completely crystal clear as you would expect for a Pilsner, which is surprising. It's surprising. But at any rate, it's a great tasting beer. Tell you what, uh, these 90 degree days that are coming up here shortly in Northeast Ohio, this is the kind of beer you'd want to come home to and have a few cold ones, no doubt about it. Sit there, sit out there on the balcony or the patio or whatever you have, the backyard deck, and enjoy, no doubt about it. And I tell you what, this is a light bodied beer with a light. Carbonation, it's not overly carbonated by any stretch of the imagination. And this would pair well with all types of foods, but especially during the summer with those backyard barbecues or those picnics that you have. Just, you know, fire up the grill and throw some hot dogs and hamburgers on there. This is the beer that you would want to have, no doubt. Mmm. Very good indeed. One more time. From the Columbus Brewing Company out of Columbus, Ohio, this is the Pils, German-style yummy beer. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> All right, my friends, you know what? If you don't like this beer and it doesn't sound good to you, find a beer that you do like and enjoy it because life is short and you got to be happy. 
man, because when we're gone from this life, I'm not quite sure what happens. Yeah, you never know about these things. You can believe all you want to believe, but nobody knows for sure, do they? <laughs> enjoy yourself. That's all I'm saying. Enjoy yourself. And on that note, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. <laughs>